What's up guys, Kevin over at Leg Bros coming back at you with a kind of a different video, kind of close to my heart. Uh, I was gonna wait to do this video, I'm a little bit under the weather, so again, I can't believe how many times I've gotten sick this year. Um, but I was gonna wait, but this sold on eBay, so I might as well do the video now, because <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna have this much longer. Uh, but here we do have the complete uh, Ice Planet um, collection. So this is every single set made with instructions from Ice Planet. Uh, I did sell this uh, listing just recently on eBay, so let's go ahead and go through this. I did think that uh, some of you would get a kick out of this. I know this is my one of my favorite themes uh, when I was growing up, so we'll go ahead and go through each of the sets here. A little bit of some kind of stuff they do, they do uh, with the big sets there. The little ones don't do much. <laughs> so the big sets there have some kind of play features, so we'll go over those as well. Um, but if you guys do like this kind of video, I do have a couple of different uh, other collections that I um, am near complete. So if you guys do like this kind of stuff, I will go ahead and do those kind of videos as well once I have com them complete. Um, we did sell the Unitron set completely as well. I had already broken that down, so unfortunately I'm not going to do a video on that, but maybe if I rebuild it, uh, I do have the monorail still, so maybe if I get the other two sets, or three sets anyways, um, we'll go through that as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, Keep in mind, <laughs> uh, some of these are a little bit dusty, so uh, sorry about that. I'll clean them up, obviously, before I sell them. Um, we're going to have to start with the big ones. We'll start with one of the rare ones. This is the 1722. This is a combo pack. Uh, this came with the fire truck and the ice plow, as you can see there. I did include the fire truck there because it came with the set itself, uh, but really cool sets. Um, a lot of the same pieces were used amongst all of the uh, Ice Planet sets, which is really cool. Um, so they use that little radar dish as a plow instead, uh, and the little white wheels, of course. And then we all have, also have this little cool fire truck here with the vintage fireman uh, minifigure in there, which is super cool. This one is very, very rare, hard to get this one with the instructions especially, so uh, I was really excited to pick that up. We do have the Ice Sat 5, I believe this is what, what this is called, uh, the 6898. Uh, this one has the magnets with the rocket uh, that you can launch, basically, so you can get it into position, and it has its little launch bay that you can launch right off of there. It does have all of these little uh, saws and everything. The neon orange, I just love all of those pieces. Uh, and then it has this little minifigure here with the little cockpit you can come out. He does have a uh, satellite that can also go on the end of the rocket right here, so you can detach that, put it on the tip of the rocket, and launch that which was kind of on all of them, was the theme, was launching these little rockets with satellites. Uh, here we do have the 6814 Ice Tunnelator, I believe this is what, what this one was called. Um, and this guy was super cool. I had this when I was a kid, <laughs> for sure. I think a lot of people did. Uh, he's got his little orange skis on the back. Uh, he's got his little saw, so he can cut through the ice here. And of course, you got those neon orange visors there too. Love the Ice Planet. I cannot get enough Ice Planet. Uh, we do have the 1711 Ice Planet Scooter. This was a little tiny set as well, uh, so I'm sure I had this one as a kid. <laughs> uh, but he's just got his little controls there. He's got his saw. It's a little kind of uh, almost like the Galactic Chief of the um, <clears throat> Space Police sets. Uh, just a little tiny mini set there. Uh, we do also have the 6879, and this one was the Blizzard Baron, I believe. Um, and this one... It's kind of a little bit bigger of a little craft. Obviously, it's got six, or sorry, six skis, three sets of skis. It has this little propulsion engine in the back there. And then this one also did have uh, this little kind of station that you can kind of take off. I don't know if I can do this with one hand as I'm trying to film this, but we'll try. Yeah, there you go. So this just uh, is connected by the Technic pin, so you can leave his little satellite base there and then take off, which was kind of cool. Uh, we do have the 68. Three, four, and that one was the, I'm trying to remember what the name was, the Celestial Sled, that's right. Uh, so this one was really cool too, I had this one as a kid. Uh, I had the longer skis, I think that's the first set that featured those really long skis on the bottom, and then of course it also has, um, I believe, no, that one doesn't come off. Um, so it just has a little radar dish there, um, and of course those sweet neon orange antennas. I just love the color scheme of this, one of my favorite color schemes of all time. Obviously, um, just super cool with the neon orange. I grew up in the neon era, so <laughs> uh, they, they targeted us. We do now have the 6983, and this is basically the base, the, the biggest, well, not the biggest set. There was two big sets, but this is the Ice Station Odyssey. As you can see, it came with three little units here. We have the main base, 
We also have a, almost like an ISAT 5 um, little scooter thing here. And then we also have this little sled uh, that came with it as well. Super cool set. Uh, this one did feature a couple different play features. Obviously we do have the little gate that can come up and let them up the ramp. We do have this gate that moves out as well. There's a little control person whose chair can spin there. Um, this one does spin as well, the radar dish here. And then we do have this rocket mechanism. Let's see if I can turn this. Yeah, uh, so the rocket mechanism, there is a little trigger uh, that you can control to bring this back down. And then you can also bring it back up with the mechanism, um, this little turning wheel right here. So you can do that automated, <laughs> which is super cool. Um, we also do have this little radar on the back that has some play features as well. So this can go up and down and whatnot. Um, and then this was really cool too. There was a, if you decide not to uh, put the rocket here, you can put the rocket right here. And this is a little crane that you can play with that's fully articulating. Uh, it can come up and then grab this with the magnet and then obviously bring it back uh, if you have this set up over here. You can grab that and then place it on the launch pad, basically. Uh, hard to do with one hand. <laughs> but then you can get this thing ready to launch uh, and then launch it right from there. So that was super cool. One of my favorite sets. I never got that one as a kid, so I really enjoyed building this one. Uh, this one was super expensive um, when I was a kid, so definitely couldn't afford that one. And this one I never had either. Uh, this is the 6973. This is the Mac Daddy of all of these sets. There was the Deep Freeze Defender, the most expensive of all of the sets in Ice Planet. Never got this one either, <laughs> but of course it was on my wish list uh, every single year. This thing was a beast. Um, this one, the little patch is a little bit stuck, so I do actually have another one right here uh, that'll go over the play features. Not 100% complete on this one, so uh, this one has like all the, all the pieces. You can see the jet engines on the back here. Uh, which I have to find for this one. But we do have um, kind of a, a segmented ship. This is the kind of the cool play features of this one is that each one of these pods comes off. So you can detach that. They all just have little Technic pins in them. Uh, so we can detach both these little sleds and they can go off and run in. Obviously they have working cockpits as well. And then this part actually separates from here. I love how they did these mechanisms on old Lego. So you had to undo both of those. And then once you've undone those, you could detach this piece as well. So this piece could be a standalone set as well. And then we also have the back here, which can be its own little spaceship too. Uh, one other cool feature about this is you undo both of these little rockets here. Just move them up out of the way. And this little panel slides out and then we have the chief in his little scooter here who can blast off and there's like this little tiny <laughs> this little tiny unit here um, i don't think this is the complete unit i'll have to take a look at what that one looks like but there's just a little sled that comes out um like i said this isn't necessarily the complete set so not sure if that's what it looks like let's see if this one this one doesn't pop out unfortunately so <laughs> i can't remember what the actual sled looks like i think it had some more detail come on out of course I can't. Yeah, so it has like some more detail. You can see there's two little skis there and like another part there. Um, so this sled's a little more intricate than that. Sorry, I can't get this one up. I'm gonna have to take this one apart and see why that mechanism's not working. But a super cool mechanism. It basically just, you know, can launch this little guy out, um, you know, by undoing that. And then you can put him back in there. Another feature of this one was the launch of the rocket again. We do have the satellite here again that you can put on the top. Uh, and then the whole top of this comes up and you can launch his little rocket here as well. The theme being all of these little rockets across all of the sets, and it has a little pin there to hold the rocket itself. So one of my favorite all-time collections. I just, I can't get enough of this collection itself. I'm really sad to see it go. I'm just definitely gonna rebuild it, and then uh, we'll see what, what happens after that. Uh, I had this one on display. As you can see, all the sets were still built because I had it on display in my Lego room. Uh, so my Lego room's gonna be a little bit more bare. Uh, like I said, I just sold Unitron and the Ice Planet, so both of those are going to be leaving my little 90s Lego table, uh, which is kind of sad, but kind of bittersweet. <laughs> Obviously, I got the price I wanted, so uh, that's all that matters. If you guys did like this, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscription. We are trying to get to 500 subscribers. If we do reach that, we will do a giveaway at my store, uh, my eBay store, for $50. 
Uh, if you guys sue, you know, are looking for any Lego, you can always visit the store. That link will be in the description as well. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this again. Uh, I know I did. <laughs> one of my favorite collections of all time. And I will catch you guys on the next one.